Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel or if you're new, thanks for clicking on my video. Today I am filming a haul video and this is actually June right now. I have not filmed a haul in a minute. I've had some stuff sitting that I went out and bought and then I was just like, I haven't been shopping that much. So it was kind of like a, let's wait till you get enough stuff to have a good video. So I think I got a good bit of stuff over here on the floor that we're going to go through. But before we get into the video, if you're new, I hope you decide to join the family by hitting that subscribe button and turning on your notification bell so you know when I upload a new video. If you're not new, you know I love hauls. I do makeup reviews, tutorials, I do wigs, I do nails, everything related to beauty with a little bit of fitness sprinkled in. So I won't keep you waiting. If you wanna see my most recent haul, I guess it's <laughs> it's not recently bought, but we're just checking this stuff out again. I feel like I'm shopping all over again. Then stay tuned and keep on watching. <laughs> So I got a little bit of a hodgepodge of stuff happening here. I have some makeup, I have some nails, a little bit of fashion as well, some hair. So we're just going to jump right in. I want to start with this first because this is a second impressions, what I have on my face right now, but first and second impression was just like, whoa. This is the Tear Tear Mask Fit Red Cushion Foundation. This has been all over TikTok, all over YouTube, all over Instagram. And I saw Tati Westbrook talk about it on Instagram and I was just like, okay, that was sponsored. So I want to give y'all the truth and especially on a darker skin tone, let's see what it looks like. I will say I absolutely love this foundation. This is the second time I've applied it. I feel like my face looks so smooth. The thing that is getting me is my forehead. If you've watched other videos, you already know that's one of the first things I talk about whenever I do a review on a foundation or a concealer, how much it crinkles and settles into my fine lines. This is so blurring. It feels so good on the skin. I got mine from Amazon. It was $25 plus 30% off. So I got it for like under $19. And I picked up the shade 43N Deep Cocoa, which is the deepest shade that they have on the website. This is what the packaging looks like. Super cute. I'm putting this in my travel bag because I feel like this is going to be my new go-to foundation for meats because it's so light. But this coverage is insane. It is a cushion foundation, like I said. So this is the applicator. She is currently dirty because I just used this. And then this is what the packaging looks like on the inside. So you see the cushion there. At first, it is a little dark for me, but y'all know I'm a finesse. I don't even care. I like my foundations darker anyway. I will say that I feel like using it with a sponge, I dipped in a couple times and then you just pat it on your face and the coverage is insane. I didn't need to build it. I did one side with the sponge and then the other side, this side with a brush. I did feel like I had to go back in with the brush to build up the coverage versus the sponge. It was just there to begin with. So if you want to try this, I know that they have more shades on their website. I don't know if the price is going to be the same, but this was the darkest shade that they had on Amazon. So if you're a little darker than me, you can probably make it work, but anything too much darker than that, you're not going to be able to find your shade on Amazon. I'm just going to pick stuff up and go. So it's not going to be in any particular order. I bought a purse and I normally don't talk about purses, but I saw somebody review this and this is supposed to be a dupe for like some really popular purse. I think I paid like 80 bucks for this on Amazon, which considering it's a dupe, I still feel like is pretty pricey, but this leather feels so good. I love that it has the little foot pegs here. So the bottom of your purse doesn't get messed up. Does this have... I need to peel this off. <laughs> yeah, let me hurry up and do that. It has these little, I was like, why is this blue? Because there's little tape to help protect the finish of the foots, the feet, the foots, Barbara. So yeah, these are silver. I love this. I feel like a lot of times when you get items that are this color, it tends to have gold hardware. I love that this has silver. I'm a silver girl, so you already know. But I just thought this purse was so cute. 
And I also got it, I ain't even gonna lie. Where's my scissors? I got it because there's a pair of shoes that I want to buy that match it. And it's a pair of tennis shoes, but I saw it paired together or something this shade paired together with those shoes and the shoes were already on my mind. So I was like, let me go ahead and grab a purse that matches with it. But yeah, you just open this little flap up here and then I feel like this is a really good size. I don't think, yeah, there's just bubble packaging in here, which is kind of hard to get out. Oh, there is a long strap. Okay, good. Yeah, so there's a long strap. I prefer to wear my purses crossbody, so you have that option with this too. But I like how big it is. I do feel like this is kind of hard to get into. Like there's not a big gap, but it also doesn't have, this is just a flap. Like it doesn't have a button or anything to close it. But I'll also have this link down below if you're interested. Super cute. I was influenced by somebody on YouTube who was talking about luxury items that you can get on Amazon for a fraction of the cost. So that's why I picked this up. Next, we're gonna move into some nails. And again, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok got me with this one. This is the BT Art Box Gel Press On. So I got the gel press ons and then I also got their X Coat Tips, the three in one soft gel system. I picked up two different designs. I am currently wearing these. I did cut them down because I had to go to the gym. This is their ombre kind of boomer shade. It is, is there a shade name on this? I don't see it. Oh yeah, it says soft gel short ballet, white JB. I don't know what that means, but this basically you use, I did buy their gel nail glue and it's a hard glue. So I'll show the whole system right now. So this is the glue. So it's a gap filled solid nail gel. This is, there was a little bit of a learning curve with it. I do feel like my nails are picking up around the edges, around the bed of the nail, but I've had these on for a week. I have been to the gym and they are still holding pretty strong, but this is what it looks like. And then when you open it, it has this little top to help keep it wet, but it literally is a solid gel. And you put this inside the nail and then you just press it on and then you put it under the UV light and that just makes it dry and hold. So if you've had issues with having nail, like bubbles, air bubbles under your nails, this is really good. The only thing is this stuff does not work well if your nails are a darker color, you have to cure it a lot longer or this won't dry. So I learned that the hard way when my nails only lasted two days trying to do this with something else, but this is made specifically for these. This shade, this one is the color in, it just says pink, my soft gel, short almond number 177. But this one, when you use their builder gel and their top coat, which I also bought, makes it look like that it has that cat eye effect. So it's this super pretty baby soft pink. I love how, yeah, this says the Cat Eye series, and this says the Clear Nude French series. I love how this was just so easy. Like, put them on, cure it, do your builder gel, cure it, and then do this, cure it, and you're good to go. The inside of it is already roughed up, so that helps it to stay on a little longer. You didn't have to do that. And then it does tell you, especially for these French ones, to keep your tips from peeling you need to put the builder gel and then the top coat as well so i really like these and i also bought their press on nails so i have these these are like a cat eye french tip these are there's 30 pieces in here it doesn't say a shade name but this is what it looks like i feel like that's gonna blind y'all oh sorry maybe if i do it from back here so you can kind of see the top the tip of it is iridescent and then the bottom just looks like a French and then I also got this longer cat eye ombre French as well so I'm hoping that these will also work yeah it says press the jelly glue firmly tear off the film oh this has 
interesting. I'm going to open this because I think this is saying these have the adhesive tabs in it. So they do have the tabs if you want to just use the tabs instead of glue, but there's also a glue. But the back of this says just use the jelly glue, tear off the film, choose the right size, stick your nails, and then press for 60 seconds and you're done. And then I love that it also tells you for the best result, press the nails for 90 seconds and then avoid contact with water for an hour after you do them. I usually do my nails at night before bed so that way they can go all night set don't have to worry about getting wet or bumping them on stuff and they tend to last a little bit longer so that is it for the nails from this brand i'm gonna go through the rest of these because i also glamnetic had a sale these nails were ten dollars a pack i love their nails i love their designs they last long and so anytime i see a sale on nails your girl racks up because i change my nails probably every week maybe every other two weeks depending on how long they last and what I'm doing in the gym. So the first ones I picked up, I have several packs of these. Absolutely love these. These are Berry Fizz. So if you can see, I need to hold them back here. They have like this cat eye kind of purple, iridescent, pink, ombre. I think these are so cute and they're not too long so I don't have to cut them. I got another pair of those. <laughs> The next set I picked up is the Caramel Apple Short Oval. I also picked up two of these. These are a gorgeous kind of nude shade, but the tips of them are like this mirrored kind of gold. And I just thought this was so pretty. So it's giving cat eye, French tip, mirrored, like this is just gonna draw attention to your hands if you love nails. I also picked up the set in Merlot. They say these are a short almond. This is not short for me. But this is also a French tip. The tip of these is the same color. It's just a different finish. So the nails are matte, but then the tips are glossy. So I thought that was different and it's a pretty shade. Those are probably, I say I'll save them for like fall, but who knows? Cause I, I do what I want. I don't care what time of year it is. <laughs> I'll wear whatever I want. Um, I also picked up the creamer shade, which is a short round. So it's kind of given the same what I'm wearing right now as far as that ombre boomer, you know, like French tip, but it's ombre and it's in a short round. Then I picked up two of these because they were so pretty. This is Winter Storm. Again, given that cat eye iridescent, but this is a French tip design. So the tips are like a silver kind of iridescent cat eye. And then the, the base of it is just this gorgeous pink. I did pick up two of those if I didn't say that. And then I also picked up two of Maple Glaze. This is just the prettiest nude ombre cat eye. Y'all know this glaze kind of look that is very popular right now. And then I picked up these just because they looked fun. This is in Siren. It's a short oval, but again, mirrored. Like I love stuff that just looks really different that... Almost seems like it's super expensive to do, but y'all, I paid $10 a box for these. And I know I could get at least two sets out of them because there are 30 nails. So definitely worth the money. Something else that got me on Instagram. I don't know if y'all have seen this brand before. Is it Carpe? Carp? I have no idea. But they have a lot of products that are suited to help absorb sweat. They had a bunch of different products. They had a sale. So I was like, you know what? I saw Lumi also has some stuff but I didn't like the fragrances that they had I saw them in Target I didn't like the fragrances that they had for their deodorants so I went ahead and I was like let me just try this hopefully I'll have a better experience with these but I picked up different things so the first thing I picked up this is a sweat absorbing groin powder now I picked this up I don't know about y'all but if I'm in the gym yes you're gonna sweat but I hate when you can see like you start sweating and you see the out the outline imprint of your thong because your underwear soaked or even in the front like I'm I'm just I don't know if it's just me being modest me being self-conscious but I can't stand that so I decided to try this just to see if it helps kind of keep that at bay it's just a powder and it says that shake on two hands or directly onto the region, apply liberally to clean dry skin. So definitely gonna be trying that just to keep that area 
dry and not seeing the imprint of my panties. Like, I don't like that. This was what really made me want to try it. I picked up their Instant Matte Setting Mist. I've seen people use this and they're like, oh, I went in the sauna with it and look, my face is still on. It, I don't know. It is in my travel bag. I have a meet coming up and I plan on wearing it. But honestly, if I have this foundation on, I don't even know if I'm going to need it. But, you know, I do all the bulletproofing just to make sure it stays. But this is designed for sweaty, oily skin. I don't have oily skin anymore, but it says shake well. Hold 6 to 12 inches away from your face. And then just spray it like a normal setting spray. So I'm wondering how this will compare to like my Charlotte Tilbury spray or my Patrick Star One Size Aerosol. I've been using that a lot. So curious to see how this is going to work. I also picked up their sweat absorbing face lotion. Now, I don't know if this is just a, yeah, this is a moisturizer. It says apply to clean face in the morning, paying attention to areas of specific concern, such as the forehead. For me, it's this little area right here. When I start sweating, this goes to crap. My concealer comes off. I had a horrible experience in Texas where it literally looked like everything just bunched and caked up. I don't want to go through that again. So I was like, you know what? Let me try this, see how it works. But I feel like if you use this for a full face, it shouldn't go anywhere, but we're going to test it and find out later. I also picked up their sweat absorbing mineral setting powder. This, I don't know. I honestly don't know if I needed this, but I was just in the mood to pick all the things. So I picked this up too, but it says it's designed for sweaty, oily skin. And it is just a setting powder. You can take it with you brush it up like that and then I guess you keep twisting remove the cap and twist the base to extrude the brush and then orient brush downwards and gently tap on a surface such as the back of your hand okay until the brush is applying powder so I'm not going to do that right now because I don't need anything else on my face but also bought this just to kind of help I will say I feel like my skin in general, as far as my dark spots and everything is looking so much better. So I don't feel like I need as much makeup. And I would love to be able to just put like a light little setting of something, put some powder and my face stay. So that was kind of my motivation behind picking up all these products. I also picked up their sweat absorbing lower back lotion. Y'all, I don't care what I have on. The first place to sweat on me is my lower back and I cannot stand looking like a sweaty mess. So I got this specifically for that because when I'm wearing regular clothes, even if I'm just like riding in the car and it's hot, I will have a wet patch on my back. So had to pick this up to try it. I picked up two of their deodorants. I picked up one and then they threw in another one for like $5 or something. So I was like, sure, why not? I got lavender citrus and fresh powder. I like the smell of both of these and this you actually apply at night. So... I have been using it and I do feel like it helps. I don't know, like my back sweats more than my underarms do. So I haven't really had to like put it to a major test yet, but I like how these smell and I'm curious to see how these hold up during the summer. The last thing I picked up from them was their sweat absorbing matte SPF primer. I picked up two of these. One is in my travel bag. This one came without a top, so had to leave this one on my vanity. But this comes in a light tint and a deep tint. And I was like, I wonder if this is going to cover enough for me to feel comfortable just wearing it by itself. It does. And I will say, like my face is a little dark right now. I feel like this is about the same shade as what I'm wearing on my face. So I have worn this by itself to the gym. It is a thick formula. Like this is not going to run at all. And then I'll just go ahead... Like you can see, it almost kind of looks like a mousse, the way this spreads. But then when it dries down, like this is not a transfer proof. You can see it does give some coverage. And it's a, I would say this is a neutral to kind of cool undertone, but I like it personally. I like it because it just helps to kind of even everything out. It is not transfer proof, all of that stuff. It does dry down matte. And I do feel like it's kind of blurring. But the fact that it has SPF and it's supposed to be sweat proof and water, well, sweat and water resistant, not proof. And it has a lasting matte finish. 
SPF 25. So I feel like this would be perfect if you're having a pool day with friends and you don't want to go completely bare faced. You can put this on, set it with the setting powder, and then you should be good to go and you're wearing your SPF. So super excited to try all these this summer. Hopefully they work well. This next product is kind of a one-off, but I did want to share. If you are looking for flexi rods, I have checked beauty supply stores and I never find any that are big enough. I wanted to try them for my hair and then also for my wigs. I found these at on Amazon and they're three in a pack. I got five of them because I feel like that would be enough for my hair. But all the times I've tried to set to curl my wigs and it doesn't last, all the comments have said try flexi rods, try flexi rods. But the ones I have were tiny. So found these and decided to pick them up to see if this will help. And I feel like these are also big enough for my hair. I forgot what size these are. It says they're 10 inches. But I feel like it said it was like an inch, like the same as using a curling iron with an inch barrel. So if you're looking for flexi rods, looking for some bigger ones, I'll have these linked down below as well. The next items I picked up, we got some beauty items if you've been waiting for that. The Ipsy Mega Sale Dropbox. So I used to be subscribed to Ipsy. I haven't been in a long time, but apparently if you have an account with them, you can still shop their Mega Sales. So they will have stuff on there for super, super discounted prices. I found out that they had Pat McGrath and I ran. This is one of her Lux eyeshadow quads. This is in Passion Fleur. I was thinking about buying this and then I was like, Barbie, you're probably not even going to wear this this much. But y'all know me and my love for Pat McGrath. I think this is just so pretty and I do feel like... I honestly would probably try to get away with just wearing this shade in my crease. But these other shades, I haven't even swatched this yet. Y'all know I love Pat McGrath's formula. Pat can do no wrong in my eyes. Ooh, that pink is very, very pretty. But these are the four shades here. And then we'll just do a quick little swatchy swatch. That's the pink. And then that's that gorgeous bronze color. I love shades like that on the lid. This shade also super gorgeous. And then that is the matte. Oh, that is beautiful. Love that shade. So I don't know. I don't know if you could get a complete look out of just this quad. But I also like to just mix and match to pair with different palettes. So I got these more for the shades and also <laughs> for the price that I got it. Also from the Ipsy shop, I picked up this travel size of Ellis Brooklyn Myth. This is my all-time favorite Ellis Brooklyn scent. And this was, I want to say like $10, $15, something like that. And y'all know these run about 30 bucks. So this will be something to go in my travel bag. I love how this smells. It is like a clean... Oh, it smells so good. It's not sweet. It's just very clean, very fresh. I feel like it can be worn for a day fragrance, a night fragrance. It's just so good. And I feel like they have this by itself. They also had some other fragrances that came in a scent. So if you're wanting to try this brand, this is a great way to do it. But you'll love this one for sure. I also picked up the Lunar Beauty Lunar Versal Setting Powder in Translucent Medium. I want to say they had different shades, but I decided to go with the translucent medium because I have so many translucent shades. This is what the packaging look like. looks like. I love that it has this little embossing on the lid. You know Manny with his lunar moon, all of those things. It does come with this little setting pad. And then, is this even open? No. Do I want to open it? Let me show you like this. So it is a yellow, which... I've been having to eat my words because for a long time, you remember how I was like, I don't like yellow powders. I don't like that. Nah, 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 nah. I've been getting back into yellow powders. I feel like when I use a translucent, especially with a concealer that's a little light, it makes my under eyes look kind of gray. So using a yellow, I'm just going to see if I can get some of this on the back of my hand. Using a yellow kind of helps. Okay. That doesn't look like it's going to have any flashback. Using a yellow kind of helps give a little coverage also helps to brighten. I have a yellow powder on today, but I've heard good things. And I feel like when these beauty boys 
come out with makeup products they come out with products that are going to be for big pores because men usually have bigger pores than women do so they're trying to fill in their pores make their faces look flawless and make it last so between him and patrick like i'm like i trust y'all i'm if it's good for you it's gonna be good for me Staying with makeup, I also picked up a eyeshadow palette from Natasha Denona. I love seeing these little five pan palettes on their website. This is in the shade Alloy. Y'all, perfect nude every day. Do I need another nude every day? Of course not. But Natasha Denona's formula is one of my favorites along with Pat McGrath. And I was like, this is every day. These three shades, if you want a matte look, pair with one of these two if you want a little bit of shimmer on the lid I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these I don't know what the deal is with the ones that she does for ipsy or like you can't get these anywhere else so when I see them yeah I'm gonna need to pick it up but those are the shades there this is like perfect you could not ask for better for a everyday eyeshadow palette. Let's see if I can swatch these like this. Gorgeous dark deepening shade. That is a, well, that just fell on my desk. I don't know if I could use that as a lid shade because it almost looks like my skin tone. Maybe it's a little lighter. It's not as light as I would normally go. This shade here, gorgeous crease shade. This is the other shimmer shade gold which i don't usually wear a lot of and then this oh, that bronze right there like yeah we'll take that gold out but these shades right here i think i paid maybe 20 bucks for this you can't beat that for natasha denona quality i decided to try this brush set this is from the brand beauty for real and this is just an eye brush set I have plenty of eye brushes. I know this already, but I'm always curious to try different formulas. It came with this eyebrow brush that has a spoolie and then a slanted brush on the end. And then it also came with these four brushes here. So these are definitely synthetic. I feel like, do they say what they are? Okay, this is a blender. This is a contour. This is a normally flat shader. Yeah, a shader and then a liner. That looks really big for a liner brush. I don't really use these. Do y'all use these liner brushes? I don't, I don't really use that. But I feel like this shader brush would be good for like a cut crease or really detailed if you want a flat brush. So I don't know. I know this was really expensive. So I also like the color of it and just figured you can't have too many eyeshadow brushes, especially when you don't like to wash them. The next two items are also fragrances. This is Burberry Her Elixir. So this is the intense version. I picked up one of the Sephora sampler sets and this was the perfume that I decided to get out of the ones that I had to choose from. I almost got Prada Paradox, but I don't know. I just, I smelled it on me and I was like, it feels... It smells good, but it feels like it's giving me the same kind of feeling I get. I get a feeling when I wear perfumes that I like. It's giving me the same feels as something I already have. This smells so good. Y'all, this low-key kind of reminds me of like a Tom Ford fragrance. I don't know what it is. It is just something about whatever is in... God, what is the notes on this? I guess I'm gonna look it up because I gotta tell y'all. But it's just giving expensive, sultry, sexy. Like, I definitely would wear this for a date night. It kind of reminds me of my Burberry blush, which y'all know is one of my all-time favorites. But this one is a little bit heavier. Let me see if I can get the notes. Okay, so this says the fragrance family is gourmand, which I normally don't like sweets, but I've been kind of getting into that. It is a fruity gourmand. My Burberry blush is a warm floral, so that's where it's different. You definitely smell the berries, red and dark berries with a floral scent of jasmine, and then it has that musk amber base to it. So, oh, that's what it is. It's the berries with the musk and just, I absolutely love this. I was also very excited to pick up this Discovery set from Forever Mood. This is Jackie Ina's fragrance brand. 
I wanted to get one during the Sephora sale and I forgot to shop the sale. I ain't even gonna lie. I was so busy and that is not me to forget a sale. Like I've never missed the Sephora sale until this year. And I felt some type of way about it. But we also know I don't need any more fragrances. So I thought this was a good way to be able to try them. So the first one is I Am Her, which says red velvet pear and raspberry. I think this was my least favorite. It's okay, but I was like, no, if I had to pick only one, it would not be that one. Hard to get. This one says lemon, jasmine, and vanilla frosting. It does smell a little bit like the jasmine I'm smelling in Burberry Her. And it does have that kind of gourmand with the icing. This one's pretty good. I think I'm trying, I don't remember which one was my favorite. So let me keep smelling. This is You Remind Me, apricot and white florals. This is very, very soft. I actually like this one. I don't know if it was my favorite. Hold on. This last one is NDA, tobacco flower, spiced rum, and vanilla bean. Okay, this was my least favorite. I don't do the tobacco scents. That is just not a favorite for me. I like them more in colognes than I do stuff for me. So now I don't know which one I liked better. I Am Her smells very different from anything that I have. It would be either hard to get or I am her. Oh man, you remind me too though. You remind me does not smell like anything I have. So being that I have so many, I would probably get that one to get something different. But of my favorites, hard to get, I think. Hard to get or you remind me. I don't know. I don't even know if you can still get this, but... Comment below and let me know if you've smelled these, which one of these is your favorite. Back to some skincare items, something else that got me on Instagram. Y'all, I need to stay off Instagram. Between the food and the makeup and all these different like independent brands, like they are really starting to get me. I picked up the Sugar Baby. I know y'all have seen these. This is their Ready Set Glow Glow Up Pads. So these are supposed to be really good for dark spots. And you can use them on your face. You can use them under your arms. You can use them. <laughs> One girl said if you have smoker's lips, like your lips are dark, you can also use them there. I got two of these. One of them is open and I've tried them. Do put gloves on. These will stain your nails yellow. It has turmeric and kojic acid. They smell like lemon as well. Yeah, lemon extract to clarify the skin. Tighten the pores, kojic acid to reduce the appearance of dark spots, sun damage, and hyperpigmentation. And then the turmeric has anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties to promote an even skin tone. Put some gloves on or use a towel. Like I used a towel and held it with a towel and then put it on my face because these will stain your nails. I also picked up their glow up bar. So I got this to use for my body, underarms, bikini area, backs of my legs. I want smooth, even skin. So I felt like I got these on sale as well. Go ahead and try it because Instagram definitely got me intrigued. We are almost done. This is two separate trips to the cosmetics company stores, but it is mostly fragrance. So these should go pretty quick. Of course, anytime you spend a lot of money, they give you a free gift and it's usually Estee Lauder skincare. This is their Super Pomegranate Radiant Energy Lotion. I feel like these are like a toner. It's a lightweight, refreshing, hydration, supercharged, what? It says it's a lotion. Is this not a toner? This is so pretty though. It's not glass, it's plastic, but Radiant Lotion Light. So I guess you just apply this with your hands detoxifies and infuses with energy for a rosy glow and it has pomegranate in it so y'all know most of the skincare that i get is free gifts with purchase because skincare is really expensive and i prefer to spend my money on shoes and makeup <laughs> so skincare if i can get it for free that's where i'm gonna get it 
This is a cologne. This is Estee Lauder Pleasures for Men. This is a men's cologne that I smelled at the cosmetics company store. And I feel like this is a really, God, this smells so good. I was surprised at how good this smells. I feel like this is like a good everyday. I would, I, this could be a date night too. Cause if I smell this, I'm gonna wanna be close. I'm gonna wanna be close and I'm gonna wanna smell it. So let me see if I can find the notes on this one. If you love shopping for colognes and you like any of the stuff that I tend to gravitate towards, Estee Lauder, Pleasures. You gotta type for men because there is a women's. So this one says that it has a sweet nectarine and green notes transitioning into a complex heart featuring spicy coriander and ginger. The base notes are sandalwood, but it says that this is a fresh scent that is good during the summer that you can wear all day. I will definitely agree with that. Smell the sandalwood, smell the citrus, very still sexy, but everyday scent. Anytime I can find Tom Ford at the cosmetics company store, if I like it, I'm gonna get it because it's expensive and I'm not shopping full price. <laughs> I cannot. These are just so expensive. So this first one is Tom Ford Metallic, which I had not seen before. And I was like, okay, gold and silver, not my favorite, but let me tell y'all about these notes. Because it says this is for women. And it says it is a fresh floral with bergamot and pink pepper. Love that in other fragrances I have. But then the middle notes are Hawthorne, Heliotrope, and Lily of the Valley. And then the base also has Sandalwood, Peru Balsam, Ambrette, and Vanilla. I love how this smells. I know this is expensive. It does have that Tom Ford expensive, luxurious smell to it. But I could see this being an everyday scent. Like, it just smells so God, this smells so good. Nope. Nope. And it doesn't smell like anything else I have on. But I saw this. I hadn't seen it before. Smelled it. And I was like, I need it in my bag ASAP. Where is my receipt? Because y'all do like to know. This was $235. And I got it for $105.75. The Estee Lauder Pleasures was $78 and I got it on sale for $35.10. I also picked up this Tom Ford Noir Extreme. This is definitely for men and I was just excited because this is a big old bottle. This one was $250 and I got it for $112.00 and 50 cents so it was 50 percent off and then 10 percent off this one what are the notes on you so it says a dynamic woody scent to match their daring personalities okay sir top notes are citrus of mandarin oil and spice of cardamom I love this. This smells so good. Definitely masculine, strong energy. Middle notes of Himalayan snow and nutty sweet pistachio. Yes. Yes. Kayali. I do smell it. That Kayali gelato pistachio. You smell a little bit of that in here. And then the base notes are deep amber. So I am an amber girl, love it. This smells sexy as hell, so had to pick that up. And then two makeup products. This is the Smashbox Always On Skin Balancing Foundation. I forgot who I heard talking about this, but I saw it at the cosmetics company store. This is regularly $45 and I got it for $20.25. I picked up the shade D10W and I feel like she's a little dark. She's a lot of dark, but I wanted this for a summer shade. So this says needs hydration or oil control. This is a primer infused foundation to help balance the skin and give radiant coverage. It says it is medium to full coverage and it is also supposed to be transfer fade and crease resistance. So y'all know we got to try it 
to see what these forehead wrinkles are going to do because that is the ultimate test for me. Last item I picked up, well, in this bag, <laughs> is the Tom Ford Liquid Lip Luxe Matte Lipstick in Secret Rendezvous. Again, if there is something I'm interested in, this is a red. And I did my little Christmas red lip look and I thought it was so gorgeous and I said I'm going to start wearing reds more. So when I saw a Tom Ford liquid lipstick in red, yes, we need to have it. I have not worn this yet, so I don't know how it wears, but I think that is a very pretty, more on the deep. It doesn't look as blue based as some of my other reds, but I still feel like it's going to be a gorgeous shade. So I cannot wait to wear this one. We have some more Tom Ford. <laughs> the second trip that I took, I found two other fragrances. So this is Tuberose New. Nui? Not Nui. New. We'll go with that. And then Fougère d'Argent. Now, I will tell y'all right now, this Fougère, so sexy. Oh my God. I can't even tell you what this smells like, y'all. This literally gives me goosebumps. I had to get this one. I had to get this one. This is definitely a date night sexy. Let me tell you the notes. It says it's unisex. I don't know that I would wear this, but it says that it has ginger, mandarin, orange, and lavender for the top notes. And then it also has <laughs> this name. I'll try to put it on the screen. Akigala wood and labdanum, whatever those are. And then the base tonka bean. So sexy, so sexy. This one was... $295. I got it for $165.20. It was 50% off. And then, is there more? And then 20% off. So yeah, I was like, I'm gonna pick them up while they're on sale more than the normal 30%. This other Tuberose, Tuberose new. I don't know why I bought this. I put this on last night just to smell it. And I was like, Barbara, that is so bad. It is very rosy. And I guess I thought because I liked Rose Prick, I was gonna like this one too. I don't like this one as much. However, I Googled what are the best scents to pair with a rose fragrance and it said Bergamot. I have Venetian Bergamot by Tom Ford and I sprayed that on top of it way better so this will only be mixed i will not wear this by itself but if you love rose this is heavy on the rose you will love it i decided to pick up this clinique take the day off makeup remover honestly let me see how much i paid for this was it free nope yeah it was okay because i was like why did i buy this <laughs> i don't really use these i will use these if i'm wearing a mascara that is not a tubing mascara because it helps get everything off, but I normally don't use these. Um, and I tend to wear tubing mascaras, but I got that for free. It was $26. I also got this for free. This is the Aveda Rosemary Mint Body Lotion. I've heard a lot of people love this. I want to smell it. Oh, that smells pretty fresh. I would definitely, this is giving spa scent. I would put this in the guest bathroom. And then this was also free, $155. This is the Clinique Even Better Clinical Radical Dark Spot Corrector, $155 for free. I mean, they should give me something free considering how much I spent on these damn perfumes, these fragrances, but yeah, all of these were free gifts with purchase. All right, guys, that is it for the haul. I feel like I've been talking forever. This stuff I cannot wait to put up because I just keep a little corner of stuff that I need to film that I haul and it's just been sitting. Like literally, I bought these back in February. It's June. And ain't no telling what month it is. <laughs> By the time this goes up, ah, y'all must be sick of me. I know, I'ma get it together, I swear I will. But if you're new, please hit that subscribe button. Join the family, we are growing. I am so grateful to all of you who have become a part of this family. Absolutely love y'all and thank you for sticking with me till the end of this video. I will see you in my next one. Bye.